up, Gemini gang? Happy Tuesday, you guys. Let's see what's going on with you. All Gemini placements take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you in your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box, you guys, on the website. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, you guys. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. So we have work through your fears, which is new moon in Scorpio. So there may be some fears standing in your way. We're seeing conclusions are within reach again. So we saw this, I believe, last week, week before last, something like that. Don't let your past hold you back. South Node, I love that. This is insane because the readings that I did for Instagram are saying this. This is very strange. Okay, so let me um, skim over, work through your fears real fast since that one was on the top. Um, so let's see what Spirit is saying. Okay, so this card suggests a rebirth. Mm -hmm. Think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes, as the birth, death, rebirth paradigm. That's what Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark. It most it almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns, but it will be deep and transforming. This card also suggests that if you know you are magical, then this is a time for you to work your magic. It can also herald the start of a sexier time if you've been experiencing some something of a drought. <laughs> and emotional intimacy is also on the menu. Scorpio is the sign that likes to go deep into body, mind, and spirit. So when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way. So the attuned to the moon is have some sexy time. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Additional meanings from this card is time to let go of a grudge you're holding. Mm -hmm. Move on from jealousy. Stop being obsessive. Could it be yourself? Uh, could it be you're being paranoid and make an investment? Okay, so the teaching of this card, Scorpio is a sign of death and rebirth, magic and shamans. The energy is a little dark, occult, even scary. Mm, it's not. I don't agree with that. Uh, not all of us uh, like to face the shadow, but Scorpio, Scorpio demands it. Well, yeah, that's true. And think about the Scorpio is the eighth house, which is eight and eight is a. Uh, in 2024 is an eight year. So consider that. So eights are not all lollipops and rainbows as most people have been um, trying to portray. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, it's through working through your dark side that you can get to the light. In the new moon in Scorpio, in the appearance of this card at any other time suggests you need to do that now. Okay, so I do want to take a look at the south node as far as letting go of your past because, again, I kind of got that energy uh, for the air signs read that I did. Also, if you guys aren't subscribed to my Instagram, check it out. All right, I'm going to try to get more consistent with posting on there. Um, where you at? Where you at? Uh, so I'm just going to go through the attune to the moon for this is released the past. Of course, the additional meanings for this card is a relationship is karmic and has played out across many lifetimes. Ooh, your attraction to someone may be virgin on the obsessive. <laughs> Both of these energies is an obsessive energy. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. <laughs> this card is talking about an unhealthy attachment to something, uh, Gemini's, okay? So... Let's see what is going on with that. I can definitely see that for sure. Okay. In the readings, we have the Empress. So oh, I knew this was going to come out. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The, the epitome of obsessive attachments here with the devil card. Okay. Some of you are needing more self-care. Uh, Gemini's, you need to take care of yourselves more. Some of you are needing to put more effort to into your appearance. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but baby, look. Um, Ten of Wands, the devil again, y'all. 
Oh, Lordy. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. So, first of all, I feel like some of you have like, um, some of you have a mother figure that you might feel like is uh, burdening you in some way. Gemini's temperance card. I'm seeing the Four of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Swords. This could also be someone with you, to you, Gemini. It's like somebody a little bit obsessive with you or obsessed with you. Um, so we'll, we'll see what that is. But, you know, some of y'all be obsessed too. All right. So I feel like there is definitely need, a need to um, get balanced within yourself. Have more patience with yourself. Some of you are really hard on yourselves too, um, Gemini's. And I feel like you're needing to kind of show yourself a little bit more compassion. A uh, eight of wands again, and the ten of pentacles again. So first thing first, I feel like this is very similar to the reading that I just did. Some of you are really like focused on building stability for yourselves, building a life for yourself. The ten of pentacles came out in that reading as well. So it's like you are you're really really focused on um, having something stable for yourself. So just make sure though that you're not overdoing it, um, Gemini's. I just realized I broke a nail. Be sure you're not overdoing it, okay? Because um, I'm seeing here there's a need for you to have some type of balance in your life. Some of you are parents too, so like you may have a hard time like balancing, um, you know your career with your family life or your career with being a parent. So I feel like you're you're kind of needing to um, delegate tasks so you can you can make that happen. Nice. The magician, yes, love it. The moon, mm -hmm. yeah. There is a fear here. The nine of wands and the six of swords. So, Gemini's, you definitely have some type of fear here, or it's someone else. So, take it how it resonates with you. Wow. I feel like a lot of you guys are manifesting your dream life, but there, there could be some things in the way. Some of you need to do some shadow work, like like one of these cards suggested, something about the your shadow. Um, the moon is about the subconscious, so you have some things, you have some blockages in your subconscious that you probably need to address. Um... Gemini's in order to get this life that you are creating for yourself or this life that you desire or the love that you desire there is um there is a, a need to release something Gemini's but even if you acknowledge something I feel like that will be uh that will be beneficial for you too like even if, if you can like pinpoint something um and acknowledge what it is like that's the first step to uh to healing whatever this is, um, Gemini's. Heavy Sag energy. Some of you have Sagittarius in your chart. Gemini, Virgo, Libra, Taurus. Yeah. Page of Swords. Mm-hmm. I'm also seeing the Empress card again. So I feel like for some of you, self-care is needed. But I also feel like it's... You, you need to learn how to balance your work life with your family life. That's what I'm seeing, especially those of you that are parents or you want a family. So some of you, you either have a family or you, this is what you want. So and some of you may feel like you don't you don't deserve them both. Uh, Gemini's, I just got this in the other read where you feel like you're not you're not uh, worthy of something or you don't deserve something or it doesn't exist. It's, it's like, um, you know, the saying, it, it's always like, especially for women, they always have to choose either a career or a love life, but you don't have to choose. So I feel like for some of you, you probably need to get, uh, there's something in your mind or something, uh, some type of belief that you have that you need to get rid of. Um, some of you too, your fears are holding you back from what you want, whether you realize it or not, but sometimes becoming self-aware isn't always going to be easy okay sometimes it involves you like really 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 becoming vulnerable with yourself and as i've said in other readings anytime there's 
conflict or anything with someone, I always look at myself first. It doesn't take responsibility away from them. It doesn't mean that what they did isn't wrong, okay? And I feel like a lot of times people think that, oh, well, if I'm if I'm looking at me, it's not, it ain't my fault. I didn't do it. But the, the truth of the matter is you attracted that to you in some way, in some, some way energetically. So it's up to you to find out what that is. Um, Gemini's and stuff that happens is a lot of times trying to teach you something so that's the way to look at it but you have to really 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 put your ego aside to do that which a lot of people really can't do um so I feel like with this energy it's about finding out what could be a blockage what could be blocking you from what it is that you want um Gemini's find out what that is the king of wands. <laughs> oh, goodness. For some of you, this may be a person. Yep, six of cups. That's the perfect card for that. Perfect card. The six of cups is about your past, Gemini's. Eight of cups is something from your past you need to let go of. You need to walk away from. Um, again, it could simply be a thinking pattern because the moon is a subconscious. So some of you need to do some subconscious work, some shadow work. And again, if, if you can't do a therapist or a life coach or a spiritual advisor, then you need to uh, search YouTube for these things. Uh, look at your chakras. Make sure your chakras are balanced. Look at, read about um, uh, different chakras and, and what, what happens when they're imbalanced, right? So you can know if you have any of these traits. And then you can work on them, okay? I feel like this is this is heavy about... I do see a, a love situation here, and I'll, I'll touch on this in a minute. But I'm always going to have you look at self first because you're responsible for, for that. You're responsible for your own healing and your own growth, uh, Gemini's. Regardless, regardless of what someone else does, you have to look at yourself. It doesn't mean they're, you know, they're not a narcissist or whatever you call them. But you have to look at why you attracted them in the first place or why you were attracted to them or why you're still attracted to them. <laughs> and you got to be totally honest with yourself about that, um, Gemini's, okay? Because as much as you hate somebody's qualities, at the end of the day, you, you, you're still attracted to them, okay? So you have to figure out why that is. And that's going to help you move forward, Gemini's, okay? Not the moon again. The temperance again. Uh, heavy, heavy emotional balance here, Gemini's. Heavy emotional balance. Also, I feel like try to take, um, I'm hearing turn pain into profit. So I feel like try to take the things that you've gone through um, and use it to help other people, uh, Gemini's, or to help someone else. Because I told you, you could change the world simply by helping one person. Because you help that person and then they go off and, and be, you know, some type, some Gandhi type. <laughs> you just did a, a, a huge service for humanity, you know. So I feel like everything you do isn't going to be on a grand scale. But I feel like I'm seeing a, a need here to and the temperance card is the alchemist because you see how he's pouring um into these cups so the temperance is is taking two opposite things or two things that appear to be opposite and making it into one thing make it pouring it together to make it to one beneficial thing so i feel like that's what this is right here uh gemini you're needing to take the parts of yourself that you're not too proud of or take the parts of yourself that you try to hide or bury and use that to be of something positive to yourself and to other people. Mm-hmm. Three of Pentacles. This is a heavy, heavy, heavy... <laughs> Heavy soulmate vibes here, Gemini's. The levels. Heavy soulmate vibes here. Some of you dealing with a Leo, fire sign, um, or other, any of the other signs that I mentioned. Libra, Taurus, one of those. Another Gemini. Um, yeah. I feel like you have someone that is 
wanting to like let go of the past but it's this is also for you so if you decide to reconcile with someone even if it's not a lover i feel like you're gonna have to release what happened with you two in the past that's that's what i'm seeing here so there's something there's definitely something here that is here to teach you and then the card even says that um there you have a, a situation here or some type of karmic situation that you've had you've dealt with for lifetimes with this individual you've dealt with this individual for lifetimes gemini's and you and y'all still ain't got it right <laughs> but it's y'all are here to teach each other something y'all are here to teach each other how to surrender how to uh be vulnerable how to be open because i feel like there's a there's the moon is here twice so i feel like mm -hmm, the ten of wands and nine of wands y'all are definitely mirroring each other in a sense whoever this is so uh, but i see progress because i see the eight nine and the ten of wands so i feel like it's you you are needing to work through your fears and they're needing to work through their fears they need to work through their trust issues you need to work through through yours but you always Instead of looking at the differences between you and a person, try to look at the similarities because there's a reason why you're attracted to them. That's why I don't get why, you know, you can want someone and then at the same time call them a narcissist. That doesn't make, that makes absolutely no sense. That means that you're also calling an aspect of yourself that because you want that person. <laughs> So that's something to consider really before you say anything, anything negative about this person or, or about anyone um, is nine times out of ten. There, there's an aspect of, of you that that wants them. Now, if you're talking about someone that you're no longer attached to, that's that's going to be different. But if this is someone you still want and you still want to be with and you waiting on them to commit, and blah, 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 blah. Then and you calling them narcissists and this and that and that mean that sound like to me that you know a part of you is also uh, a narcissist okay <laughs> and no you ain't no empath don't do that um that's that ain't gonna be the reason why because again it's it's a lot of cop-outs people do a lot of cop-outs <laughs> well i attract narcissists because i'm an empath no that's that isn't why that's not why you have to get really honest with yourself not saying that you're you're not necessarily an empath, but that's not why you attract narcissists. <laughs> okay? I'm just gonna tell you that now. That ain't why. So you have to um be honest with yourself, okay, about why you attract the people that you attract. Okay. Could be something you could learn from them. Maybe the narcissist, you know, you, you probably need to adopt some of those. Uh, energies love it <laughs> so I'm seeing here um, lots of different words take these how they resonate but the word that stood out to me was vulnerable I'm also getting nowhere to run as well so I feel like this card is pretty much pointing out what I was saying about a, a need for vulnerability from you, from other people in your life, particularly another person. Both of you, whether you want to realize that or not, both of you have an issue with vulnerability or whatever this subconscious issue is, you both have it. It's the same, it just appears different. You know what I mean? When you attract people to your life, you usually have the same lessons. They just appear different. Okay. So I talked about this in another uh, video. So a long time ago. Then we have bonfire. Mm -hmm. This is Sagittarius. We'll see a lot of Sag energy. This is enthusiasm, energy, heated, intense, joy, ignite, passion, ecstasy, exhilaration, spark, community, sharing ideas, get things done, orgasm, fantasism, fever, and fears. I love how this comes out because it talks about this in this oracle, like you needing more intimacy or you're about to start getting more intimacy. I do feel like there is going to be like an opening up of emotions or you're going to meet someone that is going to be more open with you but this is going to be something you both are going to have to work on um 
Gemini's okay it's a lot of passionate energy I just now realized that came out it's insane lots of fire energy as well mm, okay damn Gemini's be careful I heard these streets so that's all I'm gonna say about that so then we have fortress which is Aquarius this is fortitude, staying power, stubborn, sealed off, aloof, prepared, backbone, endure, lasting, ready for anything, determined, unbreakable, true grit, what it takes. So that's kind of the vibe I get here with this temperance and nine of wands is like someone like really, really standing on their square. And I feel like really standing on on you and them um, and what role you play in their life. Gemini's, okay? And then we have a dynamite and this one is Leo, which is excitement, passion, more of that, that fiery energy, action, suspense, destroy, power keg, fantastic, energetic, breakup, catalyst for change, explosive, short fuse, firecracker, blast, sudden, unexpected, and fast. All right, Gemini's, hit those likes. Thank you for watching. Peace out.